Hey everyone, Denise here from So Limitless. And in today's video, I am doing something a little different. I'm gonna do a book review. That's something that I really have not done before. So let's get started. So first of all, let me welcome you back to my channel. Uh, if you are returning, if you are new here, then welcome. Um, my name is Denise and I have this channel, So Limitless, as well as a blog at solimitless.com also on Instagram and Facebook as So Limitless. So anyway, now that that's out of the way, I will invite you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss an upload or uh, a new video. So also hit that notification bell so they let you know. Now today, like I said, I'm going to do something a little different. I've not done a lot of book reviews, but this one I thought I really got a lot out of this one and I basically read it cover to cover. It's called Fit and Sew Custom Jeans and this is a Palmer Pletch uh, publication. It's written by Helen Bartley and it says classic and creative sewing techniques for modern patterns. Some of you may know I have been making quite a few jeans lately. I took the Angela Wolf jeans, skinny jeans class. So I have that pattern and that's the pattern that I've been working with most recently. I have previously made the closet core patterns, ginger jeans. That was, that was basically my skinny jeans pattern before. Um, I did have to do a lot of modifications to that particular pattern. And I also have the closet core Morgan boyfriend jeans, which is for non-stretch fabric. Uh, that's also a, a favorite of mine, but I've also made other patterns, whether it be McCall's or whatever. So I've not, I'm not new to jeans making. I've been working more on fit, getting the kind of fit that I want. So this book was extremely helpful and not just in getting ideas about fit, but also in terms of the inspiration that it provides. Now, this book has some great pictures in it. Um, and one of the things that I really like about this book in particular is that it shows various body types. And you don't often find that. It also has a chapter just on men's jeans. So if you are a person who uh, has made men's jeans or is interested in making men's jeans, this might be helpful for you because this book does have a, a whole chapter on sewing men's jeans. And um, one of the things that you can do, I saw this here, which I'm thinking might be a great idea, flannel line jeans, you know, things like this are very expensive to purchase. This tells you how to modify your pattern. Now, Palmer Pletch does, if you are not familiar, they do a pattern fitting method. They've, I did do some of that uh, pattern fitting method a little bit, but um, so that is basically what Palmer Pletch advocates is the tissue fitting method where you wrap the pattern tissue around you and change it to fit your body. Like I said, I don't really do that. I prefer to cut out a muslin, usually from actual muslin fabric, work on that and get my pattern down the way that I think I want it. I think that you can still get much information from this and it gives you tips on getting the size that you need what measurements to take. It also has a lot of information and inspiration, for example, on back pocket design. If you want to do design or if you want to keep it simple, all kinds of information that I thought was very helpful. As I said, there are modifications that they tell you about in this book. For example, not just the flannel lined jeans, but if you are someone who say you want to go hiking and you want the zipper zip off jeans where you can zip off at the knees and uh, create shorts, 
they actually tell you how to do those modifications. So all kinds of things, how to do the fly front, etc. I found a lot of great information in this book. Like I said, I read it cover to cover. Um, <clears throat> it's highly rated on Amazon and that's the first thing that drew me to it. So as I said, <clears throat> I found it very helpful and really inspirational. Special. I believe there's also some templates in here for design or for making the back pocket. So you could trace that and then trace your design on on that and, and um, do your own design for your pockets and all. But I found the book to be very helpful. It's got a lot of tips in there to really make professional looking jeans. So I will leave a link down below. So um, it would be an affiliate link for Amazon, but I can leave a link down below for this book, but I thought it was very, very good. So it might be something that you might want to check out if you're interested in jean making, starting jean making or improving. This book is also good for beginners as well. So it tells you really how to measure yourself and everything like that. So that is it for this video. Let me know if you all have ventured into making jeans or are you interested in doing something like that? Uh, leave it in, in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.